an upright image. Okay, our image is upright. Okay, our image is upright. So meaning that we we know one thing is uh, upright image means upright image U upright image means HI positive. Uh, HI positive. Uh, magnification is positive. Uh, upright image means HI positive. Magnification negative. And we also know that when upright image is always virtual. Virtual always upright. Upright always virtual. Virtual image always upright. Uh, so the second thing we know is it must be a virtual image. Just these two words, upright image, means a lot. Yeah? Uh, this, this, only this upright image, it means that um, uh, it, it is also a virtual image. Uh, virtual image means the V must be also negative. Uh, and also, another thing is, we, we know that the V is negative, meaning that uh, this V, this ima image must form at opposite side of the refracted ray. Uh, because why? Still remember, uh, our, our image always compare with refracted ray. Uh, same side positive, opposite side negative. Okay, and since we know that the our V is negative, our V is negative, uh, that means uh, our image is formed, uh, our image must be, our V is negative, okay, sorry, yeah. So, we know that uh, our V is uh, negative, so that means it must be opposite side of the refracted ray. Opposite side of the reflected ray. Okay? Uh, so must be our V is negative. Opposite side of the refracted ray. Alright? Uh, so see, just one word we can know many things. You see? Uh, upright image. It's from 20.5 cm from the real object. Oh, this uh, 20.5 cm from the object by using the spherical mirror. That means. Um. Uh, between uh, object and image is twenty point five cm, and just now, uh, our V is negative. Our V is negative, and we know that this mirror, the we must first draw the incident ray and reflected ray. Yeah, incident ray and reflected ray, and our V is negative. <coughs> our V is negative means it must be opposite the reflected ray. Opposite side of the reflected ray to get V negative. So, uh, so um, our mirror is actually in between the object and image. In between. Uh, so, between the object and image is 20.5 cm. Okay? Here, uh, 20.5 cm. Alright. And then, um, uh, he says that the image height is one fourth of the object height. Uh, the image height is one fourth of object height, and it is positive value. Uh, why height of image? Why the height of image is positive instead of negative? Uh, because just now he said it is upright image. Upright image, the hi must be positive, so it's a positive one fourth of height of object. And you see, one fourth of object means it's diminished. Ah, it's diminished. Huh? Diminished. So, diminished image. Ah. So, for this image, we already know all the characteristics. We know it is upright. It is virtual. Because upright must be virtual. Virtual must be upright. Okay? Upright, virtual, and diminished. So, this is, uh, this uh, image is wood. Virtual upright diminish. Uh, what type of mirror can form virtual upright diminish? Only the diverging or convex mirror. Yeah, only because di diminish, uh, virtual diminish, it is the convex mirror who form. Okay? See, so many things we can know uh, out of some very uh, 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 less information. We can get so many information, yeah? <laughs> Alright, so now where should the mirror be placed relative to the object? 
Okay, uh, so this is asking about uh, where is the mirror relative to object. So this one is asking about uh, you. Huh? He asking about the object distance. Okay, and then the second question is about the calculate the radius of curvature of the mirror and say the type of mirror. Uh, so he wants the R and also the type of mirror. The next thing C he asked to find the draw a ray diagram to show the formation of the image. Okay, uh, so uh, this is the yeah this is the question. Now, so just now he mentioned the question I mentioned it is upright image. So straight away we know it is virtual image, and virtual image V must be, must be negative. And when V is negative, it is opposite of refracted ray. Yeah, we know that for mirror, the light is always reflected. Uh, so image distance always compare with reflected ray. And since V is negative, means the image is opposite of reflected ray. Okay, opposite of reflected ray. So image is formed here, at the is formed at the back of the mirror. Okay. All right. So now, how to find object distance? Okay, object distance. So uh, first we know that uh, u plus v object distance plus image distance is equal to twenty point five cm because twenty point five cm is the distance between object and image. Uh, so first thing we know that u plus v equal to 20.5 cm all right ah. okay so uh, however however our v is our v is negative our v is negative so we cannot just add up like this uh, because we just add up like this uh, in the end it will become minus it become because v is negative if you just plus like this, u plus v, then it becomes u minus v. Uh, then it's no longer 20.5 cm. That is wrong. So how? So first we must modulus it. Modulus the v to make the v positive. Uh, so we must make the v positive because we know v is negative. We must modulus it to make v positive. Uh, then it, be, it will not minus, it will not minus, it become, then you just add up, yeah, u plus uh, positive v, you will get 20.5 cm, alright, so, um, so how to do, uh, but we don't have, uh, we don't have further information on v and u, so, but we know about uh, this, we know about uh, the height of image, uh, so we need the formula of um, we know that um, magnification is equal to, uh, sorry magnification is equal to h i over h o uh, h o we, we, we use this we use this formula okay we put inside here magnification equal to h i over h o equal to negative v over u ah negative v over u so um okay so we know that uh h i o h o so ah so here this this one we we h i o h o so this uh just uh transfer down h i over h o will give us a positive one over four ah okay and these things uh and this thing equal to negative v over u Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. H O just transfer below, and we get the positive one over four. This one is equal to negative V over U. Ah, yeah. Just now H I over H O is one over four. Positive one over four equal to negative V over U. Ah, so, uh, then cross multiply. Um, we will get V is equal to, uh, negative U over four. Ah, okay. Uh, we get the, we already get the, 
um, V which is equal to negative negative U over 4 so now we substitute uh, negative U over 4 into uh, this equation yeah we substitute V equal to negative V U over 4 into this equation and then we will get modulus negative U over 4 substitute into the V uh, then uh, 24 5 cm uh, after modulus after modulus we will get a positive value uh, in the end we get u equal to in the end we get u equal to 16.4 cm ah that's it that's the answer this is the object distance okay uh, next is uh, about the radius of curvature yeah uh, this is the object distance we get okay i will get our u already now how to get the radius of curvature radius of curvature is okay for radius of curvature uh, we uh, we can find the focal length first first we find the focal length so uh, we got the formula 1 over u plus 1 over v equal to 1 over f so uh, u is a 16.4 cm uh, plus V oh we uh, we don't have the V yet so we need to find first um, we know that V is equal to just now our V is equal to negative U over 4 uh, we know that V equal to negative U over 4 so our V is um, uh, oh, sorry our U uh, 16.4 over 4 so our v is our v is a uh, negative 4.4 cm ha you see it's a virtual image you see that it is a virtual image and virtual image okay uh, and then um so it's a uh, uh, correct uh, v negative we get a virtual image now uh, just put inside here negative uh, 4.1 uh, then 1 over f uh, then we will get calculate we will get f equal to negative 5.47 cm uh, so this negative means this negative means need negative focal length means uh, f we always compare with f always compare with refracted ray so if op if negative means it's opposite side. So F is opposite of refracted ray. Ah, uh, so this F means it's opposite the refracted ray. Ah, uh, so uh, the F is opposite the refracted ray. So this is the refracted ray, and F is opposite. F is over is uh over here. Ah, uh, F is uh negative negative opposite of opposite of refracted ray ah uh, so, so uh, and of course the radius must also be negative when f negative r also negative that means uh, the 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 curve is over here ah so when we get f negative uh, is opposite of refracted ray so this uh so we can see the curve is over here. This is a convex mirror. Ah, so we can see this is a convex. Ah, yeah, see? Ah, it's com the convex mirror. Yeah? Ah, it's, uh, true. Eh? Ah, as expected. Yeah? It's expected to be convex mirror. Ah, we already got the F negative. It's convex mirror, diverging mirror. So when diverging mirror, the F always negative. You see that? Uh, opposite side of refracted ray. Uh, okay. Uh, so, we get F negative. Okay. F negative. And then, ask to find the radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is 2F. <coughs> so, we get negative. Uh, we get negative also. Yeah? Uh, 10.94 cm. So, this negative means... Uh, uh, is virtual, yeah. Uh, is opposite of 
refracted ray also. Ah, okay. Opposite of refracted ray. Alright. So that is a. So what's the type of mirror? What's the type of mirror? Ah, uh, it is a. F negative means it is diverging or convex mirror. Okay. And of course the shape also looks like convex, convex mirror because F is over here, so it's a convex mirror. The F is negative, opposite of refracted ray. Okay, so it's a convex mirror.